Dragon 2095 here, and tonight I have a Dark Magician Girl deck profile for you guys, and I have made uh, both archetypes of the Dark Magician and the Dark Magician Girl s separate, and I hope you guys enjoy the deck profile, but with that being said, let's get started. I'm going to run your three Dark Magician Girls. We all know her effect, very standard, gains 300 attack. For each Dark Magician or Dark Magician of Black Chaos from either player's graveyard. And then you got your one Dark Magician and one Dark Magician of, Ch of Chaos. Again, you know, Dark Magician of Chaos is great because you can retrieve a spell from a yeah sorry guys you know about my speech impediment I cannot help that sometimes um but anyways you retrieve a spell card back from your great your graveyard at the end phase and then when he is just uh off the field he gets banished instead sent to a graveyard the dark the dark magician just because it fits well in there I run triple kiwi. Her effect, again, very standard. You can discard her to the graveyard and each uh, of one of her kind gains 300 attack and defense for each one in your graveyard and currently on the field. And uh, my cameraman Harley here uh, will keep the effects zoomed in. Mm -hmm. And if you guys want to pause the, the video to look at Kiwi's effect, then you can to re review it, then feel free. But always have Kiwi at 3. I run Double Chocolate for draw power. And uh, that's all I just use her for. Discard one Spellcaster type monster from your hand to grave and draw one extra card and uh, that's all for chocolate that I had to say I run double apple now apple when she is tar targeted for an attack you can special summon one from uh, her kind from your hand to the field and my uh, best advice to you I would choose either kiwi or chocolate if you happen to have Kiwi in your hand and you don't want to use her effect just yet, and you want to go in for an 18 uh, uh, attack on your opponent's light points, but yeah, she's pretty good to have it too. So now I run double lemon. It cuts the attack points of your um, uh, the opponent's monsters in half and. Uh, again, you can review Lemon's effect if you want. Feel free to pause that video and look at the effect. So just keep Le Lemon at two. It's very standard. Triple Barry. Now, when Barry is targeted for an attack, you can switch her battle mode and special summon one of uh, her kind from your hand. And then when she is summoned, you can get one from uh, your deck to your hand. You, my advice to you is to grab cho chocolate or, ki or kiwi when she is summoned to, to the field. I run triple marsh macaron. It's just a simple stall for your, the start of, of your turn. And when he is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can get two from your deck and special summon him. I run one faith because when she is slipped or destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can retrieve one spell card back from your graveyard to your hand. And I run Devil Dark Magic Veil. Pay up a thousand special summon one dark attribute spellcaster type monster. 
but a thousand life points is well worth it. I run double eye of Tamagus for uh, both the Dark Magician and the Dark Magician Girl for their their feet or fusions, which I will get to here in a short few minutes. One dedication to light and darkness. Special summon out Dark Magician of Chaos by tributing one one Dark Magician from your field to the grave. And then you can get uh, Dark Magician of Chaos from hand or from the deck. The special summon. One Dark Burning Attack. When you control a face up Dark Magician Girl on the field, you destroy all face up. Monsters your opponent has on his or her side of the field, and it's just like a dark hole, except it's only on your monster's side. So yeah, your opponent's side. Again, I almost got confused there. One secret village at the spellcasters, because as long as you control a spellcaster type monster and your opponent don't, then you have the advantage to activate spell cards, and your opponent can't. As long as they do not control a spellcaster type monster. I run one mage power. It's simple. The monster equipped with this gains 500 for each spell and draw card that you have on your side of the field. So it's just basically a power boost. One spell, spell shouting. Arrow. It's a quick play for each face out spell card your opponent has. You can take off the field and your opponent takes 500 points of damage. One lightning, one magical. Now, lightning vortex, discard one and destroy all face up monsters that your opponent has on his or her side of the field. And then, uh, magical. You, you can tribute. One spell, caster, one spell caster type monster on your side of the field, and and here's the fun part: you can destroy one one monster on your opponent's side of, of the field by bringing out Dark Magician or Dark Magician Girl. You have the advantage by doing that by taking one spell caster type monster off your side field with this card. And then, one golden sarcophagus and one swords of, of revealing light. Golden sarcophagus, banish the card that you want until your second standby phase, swords. Just a temporary three turn shield. So, that's... So I'll show you on those. One magical stone. Discard one card. No, discard two, excuse me. To get one spell card back from... Your, your graveyard. I'm so sorry guys, I almost got confused on that. Now for my traps, two guardians. The monster that is on this cannot be destroyed by battle or by, by card effects. So I'll, my advice again to you is to put your monster in defense by whatever chance that you have. Just make sure you always do that. So this card can be blown off by an MST or Twin Twisters. So just play that card very wisely. Two defense. If I control a spellcaster type monster on my side of the field, I can have the damage that I would have taken, and I cannot do it twice that way. But other than that, this always have a backup up and ready to go. And other than that, it's not really a bad trap card to save your ass, so. Again, kids, if you heard that, just ignore it. And I run two call at the Haunted. Because you can use this to either counter your opponent's attack and retrieve a monster from your, your, gra your graveyard to take less damage.
got double mirror force to pop off all attack attack position monsters that your opponent has and just gives you a clear advantage on the to go for a direct attack one breakthrough simple stop a card effect and again you want to pause and look at the card yourself then you can feel free one wabaku stopping you from taking damage and you're saved one circle get a spellcaster step monster you and your opponent with 2000 or less when a spellcaster declares an, a, an attack and then one counter gate one magic cylinder and one dark renewal dark renewal get dark magician back by tributing two monsters one of yours and one of your opponents magic cylinder redirect and then counter gate stop the attack and then if the monster if the card should be a monster then you can special summon it on to the extra deck two dark magician girl the dragon knight when she is summoned you can discard one card and pop one face up card off the field and there that she's a 2600 beard to go and go for direct attacks just be careful and then one amulet dragon banish one spellcaster not spellcaster excuse me one spell card from your graveyard and he gets a hundred point boost making him three thousand I hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile and remember to comment rate and subscribe to my channel you want to join my my content and uh, help support my channel then give this video a thumbs up and remember keep dueling have a good night and I will catch you guys later see ya